Good afternoon, sir. Hi, I'm Agent Fuckface, United States Secret Service. Oh, you're not on the list, but you want to come in the White House? Oh, sure, sure, come on in. Yeah, because I don't give a fuck, because I work for the Secret Service, and we're a bunch of fucking idiots. What's going on, guys? Honky Kong here, welcome back, and thank you for checking this video out. Um, today, I, I gotta hit him, I gotta finally do it. I, I just, I I've seen, in the past couple years, scandal after scandal after scandal for the leading Keystone Cop organization in this country. Far and away, nobody's even close to the to the inept performance of the United States Secret Service. These guys are a absolute fucking train wreck. The the most um, I've never seen such bad pub or so many things happen back to back as as, as the fucking uh, the Secret Service Keystone Cops. These guys are unreal. Real quick for those of you guys who don't know the fuck I'm talking about when I say Keystone Cops or haven't um, watched any of my other Keystone Cop videos. The Keystone Cops were the uh, 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 of you know a, a comedic caricature of bumbling police officers from the side of the film era. You guys have all seen them in commercials. A bunch of people running around where, you know in cop badges and crazy hats with little billy clubs bumping into each other and shit. That's the Keystone Cops. So whenever I do a video talking about um, when cops fuck up talking about terrible performance by law enforcement officers. I hit him with the Keystone Cop tag. And um, the Secret Service, man, these motherfuckers are, are they're next level as far as, as Keystone Cop. It is an absolute fucking miracle um, that President Obama has not been attacked by somebody. I, I guess nobody wants to attack him because it, it doesn't seem to me like they would have had um, too much of a problem doing it because of the inept performance of this sorry-ass law enforcement organization. I mean, if you're a Secret Service agent, hang your fucking head in shame. Quit. Go find a different job. I want to talk about. I just. It, and here's what really amazes me. The these past scandals. It, it's one of those things where it's like every six to eight months they were they were hitting the news. Okay, you know, and it was always whenever something would come up, a bigger story I'll, I'll always took it over. But I just typed in today. I just typed in did a did a search for recent Secret Service scandals, and I cannot fucking believe what popped up. I forgot half this shit, and uh, some of them are very very serious lacks in security. Some of them are just lazy fucking cops not doing their jobs. Okay, um, and, and you know the see we, we we all know what the Secret Service is is there for. Okay, their their primary job is to protect the president of the United States. However, they manage to weasel into all types of other different jobs, investigating bank fraud, counterfeiting. They do all that shit. They you know they got to justify a. a I'm sure jobs for, for cops, I don't know, but their, their primary job is to, is to offer personal protection for, for members of government, and, and, and obviously the number one detail would be the uh, presidential detail, okay? And, and they are just <laughs> failing so fucking miserably. Now, the, the, the list of, that I'm going to read here that I just typed in is just back to 2009, okay? And I... It blew me away, so I'm, I'm just going to get into it, okay? The, the, any single one of these could have cost the director their job, that they had agents doing this. And there's about five or six different really shocking things on here. First one, 2009, huge lack of security at the White House. Um, Officer Fuckface, Agent Fuckface from the Secret Service, lets in two um, basically party crashers into a dinner, a state dinner for the Indian Prime Minister. These two two people showed up. One of them was some bitch from uh, or trying to get on some reality show or some shit, and her husband. They just show up at the White House and oh yeah, we're 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 on the list, we're on the list. And fucking Agent Fuckface lets them right in. Go ahead in. So it's two people who were not approved to be in the White House <laughs> waltzed right into the dinner. And, and, and if they wanted to, they could they could have um, you know. Did some harm, okay? Um, 2012, down in Colombia, the Car Carta Cartagena, Carta I can't, I, I don't know how the fuck it's called, Cartagena, um, city in Colombia, where the agents went to supposedly set up security for a forthcoming visit by our president. And while they were setting up security, they were also getting hammer drunk and banging out prostitutes left and right, making general fucking nuisances of themselves and, and, and making Americans look like knuckle dragging drunken fucking idiots, which we are quite a, quite a bit of times. So I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, they um. They went down there and really, really acted the fool, and, and it was a, it was a big time black eye for, uh, for for our government and for the Secret Service agents. And a couple of those those um, agents did did lose, lose lose their fucking jobs over their their actions down there. Okay, um, 2013. <laughs> this was really funny. Ignacio Zamora, a Secret Service agent on Obama security de detail, left a bullet in a hotel room where he had been staying with a woman. Then he tried to break back in to get the bullet back. So who knows what the fuck his symbolism for that was. I don't know if he was threatening her. Him and another supervisor were already in trouble for sending fucking suggestive emails to one of their female co-workers. So Agent Zamora is obviously a stupid piece of shit. This one, another one, super duper huge lack of security. Remember during uh, Nelson Mandela's funeral, the fake fucking um, sign language interpreter that was
was it within a couple feet of Obama was not a sign language interpreter, just some dickhead up there listen to Obama talk and just making up signs and shit. And, and fuck the yeah, Secret Service, Agent Fuckery. Oh yeah, go ahead, man. You're you're a sign language guy. Fucking go stand within five feet of the fucking leader of the free world. Stupid ass motherfuckers, man. And the uh, White House excuse was they worked very hard on this trip. Hey, shut the fuck. Jay Carney said that. Shut the fuck up, Jay Carney, you piece of shit. You fucking disgust me. Fucking chief apologist, what you should be called, you dumb motherfucker. Um, 2014. This one's really funny. Um, bunch of Secret Service agents, uh, they were at the U.S. Embassy in um, the Netherlands, or, or this was in Amsterdam, rather. And this was reported at the U.S. Embassy in the Netherlands. These guys went out uh, to a bar in Amsterdam, or a they were at a hotel there, and just got so fucking hammer drunk. One of them was actually passed out in the hallway of the hotel, and they contacted the embassy, and, and the story got out. So they, they, once again, Secret Service agents overseas, just doing whatever the fuck they want, acting like complete fucking buffoons. Um, here's another one that was a really, this, this story was really buried. I had to dig for this one. I, I, I hadn't even heard of this one. Um, two counter snipers in Florida, counter snipers, Secret Service counter snipers. These are the guys who are supposed to be out finding snipers to shoot them before they shoot the president, right? Um, they were, they were down there working in Florida and, uh, they had a car accident, late night car accident. And one of the agents had a slight odor of alcohol on his breath and they were sent home okay that's just pigs protecting pigs the local cops just 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 fucking let him go but they were more than likely they were out drunk driving had an accident and, and, and were let go when a normal person would have been locked the fuck up um this one is a very very good this one happened in may of 2014 it, it was called operation moonlight that's just what what people are calling it this one's very concerning because it just shows that that what um it just shows how how the Secret Service, how crooked they are, and, and how they're willing to take security from the president and, and do whatever the fuck they want with it. Basically, what they were doing, they were taking security patrol officers from the White House and assigning them to go protect a personal friend of then um, Secret Service Director Mark Sullivan. So, so let me just let me just say that one more time. They're taking security agents from the White House and having them go protect a, a friend's house. Uh, of the of a personal friend of of the director of the, that organization, that is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, number one, you're you're using federal employees to go to a private security matter, and the federal employees you're using should be guarding the fucking White House, which has fence fence jumpers, as we've seen all the time. Um, the 2011 shooting. This one is. Obviously, probably of all of them, maybe the most concerning. Some crazy motherfucker busted seven caps into the White House. The Secret Service at the time <laughs> wrote it off as gang members shooting at, at, at each other on an adjacent street because they didn't want to say that uh, somebody was actually shooting at the White House. Okay, It wasn't until four days after the shooting that um, uh, one of the staffers, one of the butlers or whatever at the White House grabbed Michelle Obama and was like, hey, come here, check this out. There's a bullet hole in your fucking house. And, and then it came to light that the Secret Service, yes, we heard gunshots, but we thought it was gang members. We didn't think they were shooting shooting at us. Fucking idiots. Um, we all know the, the, the fence jumper that just happened. It happens all the time. But this guy, what was different about this fucking dickhead, he managed to make it all the way in the all the way into the White House, all the way into the fucking East Room before he was tackled by a off-duty Secret Service agent. So he, he hopped the fence, sprinted all the way through, got into the White House, into the East Room. Unfucking real, man. Absolutely unbelievable. And 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 initially, the Secret Service praised their officers for using restraint and discipline and not gunning this motherfucker down. And it turns out, you know, the guy's a, a decorated veteran. I'm glad they didn't gun him down because he, he, apparently he's suffering from some pretty serious post traumatic stress. But if they had, I wouldn't. I would be like, that's what happens. You run, you bum rush the White House, you get shot. You know, if, if one motherfucker can jump over the fence at the White House and, and make it inside, what happens when 20 Hajis with fucking AKs barrel a car through or, or, or bring a bunch of ladders and hop over and bum rush the fucking grounds? If one dude with a fucking pocket knife can make it inside, what happens when, when, when dudes with fully automatic weapons and RPGs and grenades and suicide vests uh, a bum rush that fucking place? That's a scary fucking thought, man. Very, very serious. Huge lack of security. Unforgivable. Um, and, and, and this this last one, man. This one is probably worse than the fucking fence jumper. Obama was visiting the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, back in um back in in Atlanta back in September. And uh, you know, part of the Secret Service job is to find out who's armed, who could be a potential threat at a site when when the when the president's gone there, okay? And Obama gets on an elevator and one of the fucking security guards whips out a cell phone and starts fucking recording the president. Secret Service agent's like, hey, can you stop that, whatever. He tells him no. So the Secret Service agents wind up alerting this dude's, 
this uh, contract security guard's uh, supervisor, and they fucking they fired him on the spot. But as they're firing him, the guy whips out his fucking gun and turns to the supervisor. And the Secret Service is like, oh my god, oh, wow, he had a gun this whole time. We never fucking knew. Holy shit. So, so once again, another case, a, a, a guy with a fucking gun on the same elevator as the president, Secret Service did not know about it. Um, just, you know, and th these are just the ones that have made the headlines. These are the ones that have made the news. God only knows. There's probably several times over more of those that have been buried by the Secret Service themselves. Most of these happen on... Um, the watch of Mark Sullivan. He was the Secret Service Director from 2006 to 2013, and he was appointed actually by George Bush. A huge pile of shit, a scumbag of a human being. That fucking um, operation completely fell apart under this guy's leadership. So, we, you know, I hold him most accountable for these. Um, the, this woman that was here for a year, she just resigned today because Congress really gave it to her yesterday. But the Secret Service, they need to blow all the, the, the full, they need to blow all their senior leadership, get new blood in there, and, and go down the list of your fucking agents and start knocking them the fuck off. Get them the fuck out of there. Get in good cops. Get in cops that want to work there, that want to be dedicated, that want to protect the president, not that want to go get, get fucking hammered, drunk, pass out of her and bang hookers. Sounds like a fucking awesome time, but do that shit when you're off the clock, not when you're you're, you're supposed to be providing security for the president of the United States. Love the president or hate the president. He, he's still our president, and the last thing anybody wants to see is another president gunned down the streets like Ronald Reagan. Fortunately, he survived or assassinated like Kennedy. Okay, so that's all I got, you guys. I'm in closing. Secret Service, you're, you're just bow your fucking heads in shame. You guys are despicable examples of law enforcement. You fucking make me sick. And I hope most of you lose your fucking jobs. I'm out. Peace.